What's up, you guys? This is Godson, and welcome back to our fourth episode of Clan Wars. Today, we're going to talk about Preparation Day. Last episode, we talked about how you can attack other players. So today, we're going to talk about how exactly you get into that phase of attacking someone. So in order for a war to even start, your leader or co-leader has to declare war with other clans in matchmaking. Now, a minimum of 10 members in a given clan is required before a war can be initiated. So once your leader or co-leaders hit that start war button, the clan will be in a matchmaking phase until they find a clan. Once they do find a clan, however, you cannot cancel out of that clan fight and anyone else that joins, once another clan has been found, will enter a spectator mode. So once the war has been started, if you decide to leave the clan that you're going to war with, you'll be able to do that just fine. You can take off, come back, and you'll still be in a war mode. However, if you try to join a war with another clan, you'll have a cooldown so it will not work. Also, you have to be careful. If you're going to war and you have members that are inactive and not playing the game, they will be treated just like anyone else and will be attacked regardless. So make sure your team is ready to go when the war has been started. So now that you have a war that is about to be started and the matchmaking has found you another clan, this phase is called preparation day. You have 24 hours to get your base in order and to set up a trophy type of layout to make it harder for other players that attack you to get the, a three star. Once you have your base in order and you set everything up, after that timer ends, the game will take a snapshot of your base and that will create a replica that is called a war base for people to attack. So it won't be your actual base, it'll be a replica of it so you don't have to worry about uh, losing resources or trophies or uh, shields. And also during preparation day, you will be allowed to scout your friend's base and your enemy's bases to come up with plans on how you can attack them. Also, it's important to remember that when you have something upgrading, like let's say your X-Bow is upgrading to level 3, the game, when it takes a snapshot of your base, the game will allow your X-Bow to be functional at level 2 so that when it creates a replica for you, your X-Bow will still be active even though it's upgrading to level 3. Also, I believe someone asked, what happens when you are in preparation day and you start gymming everything up right before the war starts. Well, as long as you're upgrading stuff and it finishes before the war is actually commencing, it'll take a snapshot of the final version of your base before you go to war, so you should be fine. However, I'm sure once the replica of your base has been created already and you try and upgrade something, I don't believe it will show up on your replica base because preparation day has already finished and everything will remain the same as it was once preparation day has ended. And if you win, you'll be awarded a bonus. If you lose, you'll only get a small amount. And if you tie, you will be penalized just like if you had lost. And you won't receive a lot of loot as a bonus. And also, something important for you to remember is if someone attacks your war base, you don't have to worry about your heroes healing up and resetting your X bows and Inferno Towers with Elixir. Because everything resets, your traps reset, your heroes are already healed, and everything is ready to go once another player is ready to attack you. And just a reminder, in case you're worried when you're attacking someone in Clan Wars and the game has a maintenance break, you don't have to worry about that because the game will pause. They will also extend some time for you and allow you to get back into the game as if it never happened. Also something you notice about Clan Wars is they will have a catalog of all the attacks and replays that your clan members have done as opposed to the inbox you have, which only takes a lot around four or five replays. So they'll have a lot more replays in the catalog of Clan Wars for you to watch. So that pretty much wraps it up for this video and preparation day. I should be doing maybe another video of changes you might notice, Q&A, and maybe some possible future plans of the game. So you guys, thank you for watching. This is Godson. I'll see you next time. Godson out.